What's up, fam? This is your girl, Amanda, and I'm coming back to y'all with yet another video. So, I just saw some very sad news on the internet. It is saying that Christoph St. John has passed away. And y'all, he was really young. He was only 52 years old. And if y'all know anything about the stories or the soap operas, then you know that he played on The Young and the Restless. He played Neil Winters on The Young and the Restless. And he had been on The Young and the Restless since 1991. And the role that he played actually earned him nine daytime Emmy Award nominations. And he also won 10 NAACP Image Awards. Reports are saying that one of his friends actually found him at his San Fernando Valley home, found his body there. I guess the, the friend went to go check up on him and found his body. And the police and paramedics were alerted and they came to his home and he was pronounced dead on the scene. And they were saying that, um, a source was saying that alcohol may have played a role in, I guess, in his death. And it was said that he has had a tragic and troubled history with suicide. It was saying that he he and his ex-wife, boxer Mia St. John, lost their son Julian when he took his own life back in 2014 while getting treatment at a mental health facility. It was said that Mia and Kristoff sued the facility for negligence. The suit was eventually settled. And in 2017, around the anniversary of Julian's suicide, Kristoff threatened to kill himself with a gun. Cops placed him under a 72-hour hold for psychiatric evaluation. And it was saying that his ex-wife reacted to Kristoff's death with an emotional post on social media, which has been deleted since then. And um, so it was clear that she was connecting his death to Julian's. She wrote, the hospital killed our son at the art of Julian, then my husband at Christoph St. John one. That's what happened. They killed my family. And after their son's death, Christoph and Mia, they started a foundation called Knowledge is Power Foundation to battle mental illness. So y'all, this is really sad, really tragic because um, mental illness is real and suicide is real also and it's sad that um, he has passed away at the age of 52 because I yeah I used to love the stories I used to love watching the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful those were my two soap operas okay so if you never watch the soap operas that means that your grandmama never looked at the soap operas when you were young okay but I used to love watching the young and the restless and and it's sad that he has passed away. So condolences to his family, prayers to his family, because it's really tragic. It's really tragic. He was really young, only 52 years old. So, y'all, let me know your thoughts about this whole situation. Y'all know what you gotta do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe.